Hello everyone, this is Adrian at First Thinkers. This is a tutorial on how to get Explorer Math onto your Seesaw account for your students. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the folder from Teachers Pay Teachers. And within that folder, it will have a file, a PDF file that says Google Drive product link. Click on that and inside will be a link to, uh, to get a copy for your Google Drive. Now I have a copy now that I got from that right here. And so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on share. Now I'm going to go on the bottom right here. I'm going to click on advanced. And then right here, it's currently set to private for sharing. We need to change that. So click on change. And now on here, you can change it within a link for your district, or you can change it with a link on anyone outside of, the di of your district domain. I would recommend this, this one right here. If you have students that access um, Seesaw, without a school account, maybe they use a personal account. But if not, I would suggest this one right here because this one's a little more secure. And remember, this is only for your students, please. So go ahead and click on this. Click on Save. So now we're sharing with the link, okay? Now what we got to do is we got to copy this link. So here's the link. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click Copy. All right, so now I have it copied. That's really important. Click on done. So now we have that all set and done. We have permissions set. Go into Seesaw. We're going to click add, assign activity. We're going to create a new activity. And on here, we're going to call it addition 20. And then here we can write description. I'm just going to say add because my keyboard is really it interrupts the my microphone. So I'm going to leave it like that. So we're going to click on Add Multimedia Instructions or Example. On here, we will click on Link. We're going to link what we just did. So this will give students their own copy of this, OK? Now we will need to paste that link that we copied earlier. And we need to delete the edit question mark USP equals sharing at the very end. So let's go ahead and delete that. We're going to stop at the first forward slash we encounter right there. And we are going to put Copy. All right, so now that will make it so each student makes their own copy of the assignment, okay? So now we're gonna click the green check mark. This is asking if we, want, if we want to do it through Google Drive instead because it will make a PDF. We do not want a PDF made. We're gonna click continue instead. Now it shows it as it's gonna be logging in, but remember we said for it to be shared without, with a link without having to sign in. So students will not have to sign in on this, okay? Even though it shows it like that. So click the green check mark. We are all set, our product's ready to go. Sorry, our assignment. Click Save. All right, so now we have it here. Now we need to assign it. So go ahead and click on Assign. Assign it to your classroom. All right, so there we go. Now we just assigned it. I'm gonna go back to my home page, back to class. And I'm going to, now this is what students will see here. All they will have to do is just click on this. Click on the link and it's going to ask them that if they want a copy, they need to click make a copy. Now, before I used to do it through Google Drive where I would pick my full, my file and it would, I would make them have, uh, it'd make the PDF and everything. But then you have to go through a lot of different screens for students to be able to find how to actually access the document. This way, through the link, they get it instantly. They, there's no messing around. Now they have access to it. So now I can, the student just clicks present and now they can get started on their work. All right. All right. If this is Adrian, if you guys have any more questions at all, let me know at customer service at firstthinkers.com. Have a good day.